So, um, success, we do have the devil and the ace of pentacles with tempting offer. Of course, can be a Capricorn that we have a new beginning with. Um, or we um, reach a compromise of some sort, go out for a coffee. But it does look like a tempting, lasting um, uh, offer from someone. The devil and the king of swords. Um, might be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that we are uh, really attached to, connected to, um, physically attracted, we want to make love to. And the King of Swords is also the man in the uniform, and it speaks of divorce and separations and um, you name it, so, and the devil. So maybe for some of you to accept a new offer, we need to go through the King of Swords energy. And the Two of Cups in reverse with the devil. We might be disconnecting actually from a Capricorn and starting something new. Um, this is the energy I'm picking up there. And Ace of Pentacles is the energy of something uh, we need to put effort into because it has potential and it grows. Four of Swords in reverse. We need to take some action when it comes to a situation out uh, there. We are guided to be proactive and not rest your mind. You thought about it, now it's action time. And we have the devil twice, such that is. We have the devil twice. Can be a Capricorn, but um, that we really need to, uh, you know, we need to look into that situation. And I love it because one is upright, one is in reverse. So we move from toxic energies to positive ones. The minute we start to see that this is not working, right? We start to think of a plan. So, um, Eight of Wands, I love this, releasing something. We do have um, overall energy for the second half of February. We do have the Eight of Wands. And we do have the Ten of Swords in reverse. And the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, this is, you name it, resolution of a conflict. This is releasing a negative mindset. This is all, um, you know, starting to see hope. Um, obstacles being uh, lifted. And the Ten of Swords in reverse, healing and emotional healing by excellence. Knight of Cups, of course, can be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but by the looks of the whole energy here, uh, we are healing something, actually. We are emotionally healing some wounds that somebody, um, you know, um, I want to say inflated on us, but I um, think we can take control. We are not really uh, victims, I don't really believe, but... I know we can get hurt, that is no doubt. And the page of cups in reverse, yes, an emotional situation that we take control over. Current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual, and let's have the possible outcome. For you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck, ten of wands, I know. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, we are completing the cycle. It's almost over, right? Every time we get this, the universe is saying, come on, hang in there. Um, you know, because it is over. Ten of Swords in reverse, Ten of Wands might be burdening, but it's over, you know. we It might um, require for us to work hard and take responsibility for some of the things, but um, it's almost over. So Sagittarius again, Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles. So really, looks like an, uh, an Earth sign over there. And uh, one shows up upright and one in reverse. So there might be some distance, again, physical, emotional. Um, but you know what? They show up here upright. So it's all about they offered you. Or, or this, right? If you ask them. Um, they offer the emotional stability. This is uh, uh, the pentacles are the provider, the king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, right? Providers, nurturing, kind, um, 3D oriented, but who are we to judge, right? Um, house was important, home, kids. Um, and um, and I kind of, it's, a, it's a beautiful energy in the past you had, but probably recently uh, you went separate ways or again, Physically, emotionally, it does look like uh, two completely different directions. Now, this person of yours, they are completely unhappy. We have the sun in reverse, Leo energy, and the ace of pentacles. They are unhappy with the current situation and they want a clean slate. They want a new beginning. They have an offer for you. Um, this is the energy of addressing um, the unhappiness. This is my uh, cup of coffee card. 
um, with the Ace of Pentacles that this is really about discussions. It's more about, it's less about the coffee, but it's the opportunity, um, you know, to start smaller discussion and see where it leads. Mutual energies between the two of you, Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups in reverse. For some of you, Seven might be important, but it is blockages. And I kind of feel such areas that you might have blocked someone out of clarity, Seven of Cups, out of choices, narrowing choices. And finally, we reached the conclusion that, you know what, Seven of Wands, a little bit of my own space, my own, my own environment, on my own terms, in my own time. Um, I kind of feel that um, you might have asked for. That's a seven of wands here, right? <clears throat> um, current energies right now, six of wands, upright, and the queen of cups in reverse. And again, we have a lot of people here, Sagittarius. We might have two energies involved, a water sign, or maybe you have water in your chart, and a strong energy of an earth sign. Um, so... It's interesting, right? Queen of Cups in reverses, we might be a little bit emotional. It's an emotional time. But at the end of the day, you win. So it uh, brings back, it brings you back to emotional balance. That's what we see as the overall energy, right? So we are a little bit, you know, they might be still on our mind. We might be sad about something, emotional about something. We might have a little bit of ego um, not showing uh, to this person emotions and and um, sadness and we show up as being in control and being cool and having uh, but at the end of the day six of wands is the winning card is we went uh, to the battle and we came back victorious so oh and it's interesting right this person has death in upright and death in reverse right and um and they want to reverse this ending they absolutely want to reverse this ending they want to go from whatever you know i don't want to see you anymore to let's think of it as unfinished but let's think of it as let's put this ending on hold and and really um have a good um a good conversation right mutual energies between the two of you um, nine of Pentacles in reverse with the world endings, 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 such that is, this is the end of a chapter. Um, and the world, the world, for one is happy, it's interesting, right? For one is happy endings, for the other one is like, no, we need to reverse this. And I kind of feel such that is, it was a battle for you, uh, but it's over, you know? Um, so many energies of, of over, twice the death and the world right now, so... You know, it's kind of like also the universe with uh, so many major arcana kind of saying, you know what, um, yeah, you have something else to do. You know, you are called elsewhere. Um, and uh, and we have this energy of putting burdens down, putting stress down, healing a situation that was at some point was stable. You know, King of Pentacles, it does have stability. The sun maybe you had kids with. Um, and we had emotions involved and, uh, you know, we had moments where we fought for this connection, but, you know, now it's over. People grow um, out of some connections and, and who are we to judge, right? Let's see the possible outcome. We do have the Emperor in reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles upright and the Four of Wands. So this is Aries energy, Taurus Virgo, the Capricorn definitely stability is coming knight of pentacles is the energy of staying friends is the energy of offerings and four of wands is the energy of stability roots and being part of a community so you are not alone uh, this is the energy i'm picking up and it has this energy of family right four of wands is also family and um, knight of pentacles is building um, like solid family roots and uh because you know what the emperor in reverse and we know this is manipulation power games um and i mean we need a strong foundation to deal with the emperor energy in reverse so for some of you you are uh, guided for the second um, half of february right to um kind of rely on family and family settings um you know to come out of something some power games where we might not have you know, we might not be objective about what's going on now this person of yours high priestess in reverse and the queen of swords in reverse gemini libra or aquarius they want to talk they want to talk 
High Priestess is breaking the silence. And I would pay attention. Queen of Swords in reverse is a little bit of harsh communication, bad words, insults, fights, um, lack of transparency, manipulation with words, and the High Priestess in reverse is really about talking. So um, I would pay attention to their communication or the exchanges we might have um, in the second half. And mutual energies between the two of you, the lovers in reverse, and the two of swords. Two of swords is about contemplation, thinking, choices, and, uh, <clears throat> sorry, Gemini in reverse. But I feel that is no longer love in this. Might be commitment, might be a desire uh, to continue whatever solid stuff for you. But there is no doubt, there is no doubt in this reading, it's all about endings. It's about accepting these endings by your person because you already moved on actually <clears throat> and you might uh, be moving on to an Aries for some of you uh, Taurus Virgo a Capricorn but we are so over this right so let's ask for some guidance the question is should we say yay nay what should we do we do have the distorted masculine so some uh, someone here Sagittarius um, is dealing with a distorted masculine Distorted is kind of a harsh word, right? They have some work to do on themselves. Um, this is all about ascension. This is all about forgiveness, kindness, and this person is on a journey. And speaking of on a journey, we have spiritual maturity, right? Um, kind of the universe saying you are not walking the same spiritual path. One has work to do, is not there yet, while one is way before the other. <clears throat> and as a proof we get the divine feminine right as a confirmation again we have distorted masculine versus the divine feminine either can be as such that is on a journey and um, the universe giving us the way spiritual maturity from distorted to divine because we both have masculine and feminine in us um, energies so um or simply two different paths two different worlds two different lifetimes maybe next time you know and we do have the rainbow reviver a little bit of fun amusement taking things um easy and we do have like attracts like as the bottom of the deck so if you long for more love be more loving um, so such size, this is all about manifestation of a new love in a context of fun. I believe that the universe is not guiding you. It's guiding you to stay on the spiritual maturity path, that is no doubt. But you, you are guided to have a little bit more fun. And, um, and just know, right, that we attract people having the same values as us. Uh, just like us, what we put out into the universe is coming back to us. Our vibration, we attract people being on the same vibration with us. Um, so, yeah, like attracts like. Somebody, somebody um, has to be mindful or is guided to be mindful today um, about, you know, the vibration and the frequencies and, and other people. So let's uh, see the energies we need to put back into the flow. And we do have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So you might have dealt with um, someone on the path way behind you and the universe is saying it's not a failure actually. We needed that. It was a learning opportunity. Well, don't worry about your spiritual maturity. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, right? It's not about worrying. It's about more um, kind of doing the work. Um, and um, you have no reason to worry by the way we do have divine feminine and judgment I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so yeah we don't judge we don't measure up uh, that is not about a competition that is not about decisions it's just understanding that everyone has their unique path and challenges Releasing loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. This is an affirmation, right? That we um, say all through the day. I know that I'm never alone. And bottom of the deck, surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Um, so yeah, 
that is that. And um, Sagittarius, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.